Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the specs and details about the Realme GT Neo 3 and Realme GT Neo 3 gaming mobile phone. Yes, when there are two variants of which are kind of expected to release from the Realme GT Neo 3 series. So this is a gaming edition where you can actually see the gaming triggers as well, especially on the top and bottom. You can clearly see friends, gaming triggers which are present in this Realme GT Neo 3 edition. So there's a difference between Neo 3 gaming edition and GT Neo 3 as well. That's what I'm going to discuss in this video. So these are the few details about the leaks and rumors about upcoming Realme GT Neo 3. So normal edition, this is not the gaming edition. This is how the phone gonna look. You can clearly see friends. On the back side is a camera a panel will be there. Camera placement, you can definitely see it. That's kind of slightly a uh, change in terms of the camera modules. You can definitely see on the back side. And there's nothing much specialty going on in this device as well. Definitely there's a volume button and power button. And this power button, especially this kind of pointing outwards, which means there will be in-display fingerprint scanner, which also means there will be AMOLED display as well. Same like the Realme GT Neo 2. That's the kind of thing whenever I try to check these kind of leaks and rumors, I'll always check the power button usually to check whether it's in-display or side-mounted fingerprint scanner. So next thing is that as Realme a GT Neo 3 will be having the Snapdragon 888 processor. Yes, friends, this is a normal uh, model which will be having the gaming edition will be having the dimension 9000 so this is a processor will be there in the gt neo 3 gaming edition which has got the triggers that's what uh, we can actually expect there will be two different various snapdragon and the dimensity variant so this is a kind of really good advantage friends for a lot of users who are actually interested in the snapdragon processors they can actually buy the snapdragon phone who are actually interested in mediatek dimensity processors they can buy the mediatek phones that's a kind of really good thing to differentiate both uh, models so we're going in the processor so snapdragon 88 processor and the dimensity 9000 chipset so one thing is that regarding the price details i'm really uh, interesting because this Realme GT Neo 2 has released for 25,000 rupees. I'm not sure uh, you remember or not because I bought this mobile phone for about 25,500 in the first sale. Exactly. Yes, friends, there's a huge discount uh, going on for the Realme GT Neo 2 in the initial days. That is what we can actually expect in the Realme GT Neo 3 as well. When they decide to launch in India, somewhere around 30,000. That's what I'm expecting for the Snapdragon 888 processor. And next thing is about the charging speed. Obviously, right right now, we did see a lot of phones that are getting released in India with a 120 watt fast charging and higher fast charging as well. So there are chances that the Realme might implement 125 watt ultra dot charger in one of the model that which are not sure exactly but there are chances that's what i'm predicting it's at this moment one model will be having the 125 watt ultra dot charger and the other variant will be having definitely the 65 watt super dot charger so which can charge in 36 minutes so there's nothing wrong friends even i am very much happy with this 65 watt super dot charger because my realme gt neo 2 is charging pretty fast it only takes 36 minutes exactly this is the one thing which the realme uh, did do accurately which is a charging speed so my phone is taking exact 36 minutes 37 minutes no problem at all for my unit i did do more than like i think 20 to 30 charging speed test videos and that is what i did observe the consistency it doesn't matter with the updates so even if the phone has got 65 watts fast charging i'm really very much happy with the 65 watts so next thing is obviously about the battery battery backup we're going to see the same kind of battery capacity 5000 mAh of uh, battery capacity so where in the realme gt neo 2 which has got the dual split battery technology same kind of technology we can actually see in the realme gt neo 3 as well that's it friends thank you for watching this is a quick uh, details and summary about the realme gt neo 3 gaming mobile phone and normal edition there's a camera placement uh, difference as well between the gaming and the normal edition so which you can definitely see here i'm really interested in the this gaming edition most of the time because of these triggers and the realme implementation how will be the cooling system in this device that's what um keen is there but definitely it's gonna take a lot of time maybe this phone might get released in the april or may that's what we can actually expect so that's it friends thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates and I'm really interested for the tomorrow's event which is iQOO 9 series going to get released in India. So stay tuned for those videos. Meanwhile, signing off friends. Thank you for watching. I'll stay tuned for more updates and bye.